An incredible consultation is the key to success in a salon. I'm Vivian McKinder and that's the secret behind Salon Ideas by Joyco. It all starts with something we call the three wheels of fashion. A groundbreaking new technique that lets you dive deep into a consultation, allowing you to hone in on your client's true style and design looks that are beautiful, modern and perfectly customized. You'll learn the subtle differences between someone who is classic or simply edgy. A client who leans towards romantic looks and never sexy ones. You'll even pick up on how influenced they are by trends and friends. Watch this unique approach in action as I transform hair and show you how to create wearable, fun, on-trend looks that we know your clients will love to wear. Throughout your career, I'm sure you've learned about face shape, eye and skin color and how to analyze the hair. These are the physical aspect of your client and although important, they do not carry the weight that her firmly held beliefs about herself do. Things like her level of femininity, the volume of her presence when she walks in a room, or to which tribe of style she belongs, are the key to understanding what looks she will love and which she will feel are just not her. A woman may have one cut and color, but she certainly doesn't have one style. Trends may come and go, but the trick to making your clients truly happy and creating gorgeous, expensive looking cuts and color is all about taking a laser sharp look at the client who's sitting in your chair. Wheel one, conform or non-conform? Is your client and guest an introvert or extrovert? In this wheel, we question how quiet or loud the color and style should be to fit the personality of your client. Wheel two, fashion, and lifestyle. Today's fashion has so many faces that meld into our lifestyle choices and personality. It is very important to determine where your client lives within the sense of style, for example, hippie, rock and roll, classic or trendy. Wheel 3. The sensuality of a woman. From boyish to feminine, sexy or glam. When we meet the client in the landscape where she lives, we design inner and outer beauty. Now let's apply the three wheels to my client, Emma. You can see in her signature look, she is a combination of extrovert, trendy, chic, sensual. Now for her cut and color. Who says short hair can't be versatile and feminine? The razor and the short disconnected cuts allow for adaptability. Joining me on her shadow shift color is Joyco influencer and Cosmoprof team member Phil Ring and Joyco guest artist Gion Vincent. For Emma's look, he focused on transitional melting, perfect for the client who wants to transition from a foil to a well-blended technique. It's great to spice up your client's look from a beautiful traditional blonde to a gorgeous seamless look. Sectioning. Take a horseshoe parting around the parietal ridge to just under the crown. Razor cutting. Step one, the cut is the Emma. Study the hairline and determine if it will look more beautiful tight or soft and wispy. Start in the center back, hold the section in a vertical angle and step back to study the shape before you cut. The nape should be the shortest area building to a longer top. Work in small subsections as you razor down towards the nape for control. Hold the hair taut. Use your fingers to check for the texture and length. Cut to desired length. Step two, taking vertical sections work to one side. Step three, use the chisel method under the occipital bone. It's a tiny vibration with a flexed and relaxed thumb. The wrist, elbow and shoulder are kept quiet. The elbow is relaxed and down. The feeling in the hand is likened to painting the face with a makeup brush. You'll also use the etching method as you climb up the head. Rock the razor through each parting to etch out the layers and design to create movement and texture at the same time. Moving from tighter to soft textures, you'll follow the natural hair shape. Stand to the side so you can see the silhouette. Using the razor allows you to create shape and texture at the same time. Therefore, you don't need to go back and texturize at the end of the cut. Follow the head shape and playing with the hair allows you to cut the hair to the personality of where it lives. Let the hair talk to you. The hairline is scruffy, sexy, soft and relaxed. 
It should not be blunt and static. Make sure the hair stays wet so your razor can glide through the hair. Step 4. Don't stand on top of the work. Glide when you cut the hair and be gentle. This allows you to keep control and create beautiful texture. Cut the hair with a traveling guide. Step 5. Hair should be pulled out from where it lives. Clip the next section out of the way for control. Then continue walking around the head shape as you cut. The second section is brought to the first, and the third is directed to the second, and the fourth is slightly over directed to the third, leaving a little weight behind the ear. Step 6. Be mindful to retain the corner behind the ear by over directing away from the ear section as mentioned in step 5. Failure to do so will result in a hole at the ear. Step 7. Star the hair into place while cutting to make sure it is laying correctly. Work to the back of the ear and then repeat on the other side. Tip. Stop and step back. Use your mirror to study the shape. Body movement and placement is key to watching the shape evolve. Step 8. When working on the other side, flip your hand so it is parallel to the head. Tip. When working on compromised hair, use Color Therapy Luster Lock Spray Multi Perfector. Step 9. Using the razor over comb method, glide over the surface to reduce weight in the nape. To perform this method, create a very clean comb section. Hold the fine tooth comb horizontal to the design line on a slight angle and put the razor in front of the comb. Glide the razor and comb at the same time to blend the area together and soften the shape. Then use blunting technique to cross check your work. Hold the blade parallel to your fingers and pull the blade upwards. Tip. Blunting up creates softness. Blunting down creates bluntness. When cross-checking, run your fingers through the hair on both sides to check for evenness. Etch through the hairline to create softness, rocking the razor through each parting to create movement and texture at the same time. Step 10. Working in vertical sections, start from behind the ear, working forward. Overdirect the sections away from the face on a soft angle. The more you overdirect, the longer the front sections will be. Take a guide from the back section and work towards the front. Step 11. Hair gets longer as you move forward. When you get to the front, the sections get more angular. Step 12. Repeat on other side, but leave the right side longer. This can be adjusted for your client's part, preference or cowlick. On this cut, the right side front was cut more vertical, which leaves it longer than the left side, which was cut more angular, leaving it shorter. Step 13. In the temple area, do a bit of face framing to soften the front sides so that they fall around the eye level. Dry the back and sides. Step 14. Start on the right side. Use the L technique. Hold the razor vertical to the head and carve on the side of the razor vertically and then transition into a horizontal or L shape, J shape for left-handed artists. Using this method, take a horizontal section to the back. Hold the section horizontally working in the mid shaft. Razor down to etch out layers and the hairline at the same time. Determine the length by cheekbone to the top of the occipital bone. Step 15. Blend the top layers from the back into the side outline shape. Step 16. Continue working until the right side top is completed. Step 17. Repeat the blend from the back into the sides on the left side. Make sure to follow the head shape and your guide. Remember on this cut the left side is shorter. Step 18. The L technique creates valleys and peaks. Hold the razor with a soft, bent thumb so that you can glide through the hair. A lock thumb will force you to be heavy handed. Step 19. Continue working in the left side until the top left is cut. This should leave you with an off center top section that will be cut next. The top of the graduation is now the base for the top layers. When layering the top of the head, 
turn the blade towards the face and let the back of the blade relax into the palm of your hand. Keep your elbow down and move your wrist as though you are doing a handshake. Step 20. Take a center section from crown to front hairline. Over direct the hair to create an angle of a shorter crown and a longer fringe. Step 21. Then over direct the section back towards you and glide with the etching technique. Next, using an L technique, create more texture and deeper valleys and peaks. Step 22. Continue to over direct each section back using the etching technique. When cutting the sides, use the L technique to remove bulk and add texture. Vertically over direct the top layers towards the crown, working from shorter to longer. Simultaneously, build a square layer across the top of the head horizontally from temple to temple. Step 23. When working on the sides, connect the layers with the etching technique for an abstract connection. Take sections from top of the head forward, straight out and cut. Step 24. Move the hair around and mold it into shape. Evaluate the length and the thickness of the hair. Use the butter knife technique to debulk the hair while retaining the perimeter length. Take long, light strokes. Lay the blade flat onto the hair. Imagine this angle and lightness of touch as if you are shaving the face. This style has a deep asymmetric side sweep, so be mindful of the fringe length and make sure that the hair not only sits well, but is custom designed to your client's face shape. Step 25. To cut the fringe, comb the hair forward and cut short to long, left to right using a deep etching technique. Step 26. Dry the hair using Color Therapy Luster Lock Spray and cross check. Since you have been molding the hair into place while you have been cutting, you will be able to study the total silhouette. Now do detailing as needed. Shadow Shift Color Seductive, chic, sexy and playful. Shadow Shift is a color technique created by Phil Ring that combines a base color and a highlight and low light all at the same time in a unique and fun application. To pre-lighten Emma's hair, Gion used Blonde Life Lightning Powder with 20 Volume Lumashine Developer. Step 1. Starting on the left side at the parietal ridge, take horizontal weaves and apply Formula 1. Place the lightener where it is needed and avoid the already lightened pieces. Step 2. Take a back-to-back -back weave and apply Formula 1. Weave out the blonde pieces and highlight the dark pieces. Continue taking fine 1 8 inch sections and weave using Formula 1. Once the head shape widens, take staggered foils and apply Formula 1. Step 3. Once you reach the natural parting, start to take slices in back-to-back -back staggered foils. Remember to apply the lightener where you need it and not overlap the already blonde pieces. Step 4. Continue to take slices and weaves leaving very little hair in between. Do this until you reach the middle of the head. Step 5. Repeat on the other side. It is important to only lighten the areas that need to be lightened. Step 6. In the longest part of the fringe, take back-to-back -back partings in a staggered foiling method or bricklaying method. Step 7. Place a few vertical slices in the back right at the point of disconnection, 3 to 5 depending on density. Step 8. Process until hair reaches the palest yellow. Rinse and remove with K-Pak Color Therapy Shampoo and Conditioner, then dry the hair. Next we'll use three formulas. The base Formula 1 is Lumashine Demi Permanent Liquid Color 6SB with 5 volume Lumashine Developer. Formula 2 is Lumashine Demi Permanent Liquid Color 8SB created by equal parts 7SB plus 9SB with 5 volume Lumashine Developer. 
Formula 3 is Lumashine Demi Permanent Liquid Color 10 SB with 5 volume Lumashine Developer. Next, section around the parietal ridge, down the middle and across the crown. Step 9. Starting in the nape, apply a shadow root approximately 1 to 2 inches from the scalp using a teardrop application. 1 inch in front and 2 inches in the back with base formula 1. For a seamless blend, apply the color horizontally in 1 8 of an inch sections. Step 10. Apply the shadow root until you reach the crown area where the highlight begins. Step 11. Once you get to the top of this section, melt the base Formula 1 into Formula 3. Do this for the front sides too. Place in foil and use a dry brush to melt. Comb through to blend. Step 12. When working in the sides, take vertical sections. Apply base Formula 1 and melt into Formula 3. Using your hands, massage the point the two colors meet and melt the two formulas together. Continue this melting technique until you reach the front. Step 13. When working into the front, the hair will become shorter and shorter. As this happens, your application will have less of a base Formula 1 and more of Formula 3. Step 14. Place a foil on top to protect the sections and repeat on the other side. Step 15. Move to the top section of the head. Apply the shadow root using base formula 1 to the entire crown section, approximately 1 inch out from the scalp. Step 16. Take horizontal quarter inch sections, comb the section to tease the root area, apply more of the shadow root base formula 1. Step 17. Then weave out a horizontal subsection. Step 18. Apply Formula 2 to the bottom of the section. This will melt the shadow root gold foil. Step 19. On top of the section, apply Formula 3 to the ends, silver foil. Repeat this technique in the crown sections two more times. Step 20. Continue working this technique into the side of the top. Right side first, then left. Step 21. Adjust your melting technique to the length of the hair. Repeat on the other side. The patterns are Formula 1, Formula 2 and Formula 3. And Formula 1 and Formula 3. Process for 20 minutes at room temperature. Then rinse well and shampoo and condition with K-Pak Color Therapy. The outcome is gorgeous. We've created our vision according to the three wheels of fashion, which for Emma was Extrovert, trendy, chic, and sensual. And that is Salon Ideas by Joico. There are five other videos within this collection that will inspire your creativity and what you do in the salon every day. For more tips and techniques, download the Joy Color System app. I'm Vivi McKinder. Thanks for watching.